What's up YouTube? Today I've got a Lost Millennium Booster Box First Edition. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, so let's get started. It is sealed. So I've got my little knife here. Um, in case anyone's wondering, the card I would be most uh, happy if I got would be a Brain Control, preferably an Ultimate one. But uh, other than that, I mean, whatever I get is, is going to be cool. So um, I got a really good price on this. It was only $40. Um, they usually go for at least 50 So that was pretty good. So there we go. The Lost Millennium. So I've opened up almost all of the uh, original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. So it's kind of cool to open a, an earlier GX box. So uh, first one is a Master Monk. Super rare. Not bad for the first uh, pack. I'm really hoping my ultimate. Um, first, I hope I get an ultimate, and if I do, I hope it's uh, a good one. Even uh, Ancient Gear Golem, I think, is the one that's on the cover. I still played when this set came out, so it does have some good memories. But um, it wasn't the game. Oh, there's my ultimate, ultimate insect level seven. So that's an ultimate rare. I don't know if you can see there the. Stars are shiny. Wow, so on the second pack, I got my ultimate. Not exactly the one I wanted, but that's all right. It's a good one nonetheless. It's better than a lot of them, actually. So we'll keep going here. Two for two on the hollows. Legendary black belt. Um, I would really like to do a uh, Duelist Revolution box. That would be really cool. I would like to do that one maybe in a couple months. So there should be still at least uh, one ultra rare spell stopping statute. That's the uh, same guy from the artwork of uh, Imperial Order. And there's another card with him on it. I can't remember what it is. Oh, good. King of the Skull Servants. Those are worth like a buck. But yeah, I would love to get a brain control for uh, another super. Millennium Scorpion. I'm glad that wasn't my ultimate. I have two of those that are ultimate right now. So I'm really glad that wasn't it. I don't have this. So that's cool. I would love to thank my wife at the moment for filming the video and all my videos. Except the collection binders. I film those since I'm able to do them. Which I'll be doing soon is an update. Ooh, Wing Karibo. Awesome. That's a cool super. It's just, uh, it's not really usable, but it's cool because uh, it's Karibo. Everybody loves Karibo. But um, I will be doing uh, an update to my collection. I've got some great stuff. And I'll be doing an updated trade binder as well. So please look out for that. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my dog. Oh, cool. Elemental. Mistress Doriato. I kind of wanted that to be ultimate too, but that's alright. Um, my dog is kind of whining. She's on the balcony right now. Wondering what's going on in here. Some of these packs open really easily, and others are really hard to open. Kind of strange. So yeah, in about a week or so, I'll have that collection up there. Um... I thought that said Pikachu's second site. I don't know why I thought that. Mm. Token Festival? Feastable? Token Feastable. So this right side's been pretty good. Got a ultimate and two supers. No ultras yet though. So still hoping to get one. At least one. Hoping to get two. Got a lot of these. These Clayman. Cryo Sphinx. Another King of the Skull Servants. Um, this set was good, of course, Brain Control. Uh, that's a card that will uh, probably forever be banned. It's too damn good. Kozak Kozaki's Self Destruct Button. That's mm. the uh, scientist from uh, Magical Scientist. Of course, you can see him from the backside there. And he's on another artwork too. It's, it's 
think it's just called Kozaki, or whatever his name is. Oh, there's an upside down card, that's always fun. Ancient Gear Soldier. Ancient Gear Beast is the rare. Starting the pile of rares here. Um, not much else to say about this set. Uh, it came out j a little bit before I quit for good. I think the last set was uh, Cybernetic Revolution before I quit uh, playing. But I always collected Hero Signal. And then we'll start with the left side. So the right side was okay. Got three hollows, one of them being the ultimate. And the ultimate, I think uh, ultimate insect level seven is usually an ultra. It might not be, it might be a super, but I think it's an ultra. So mid shield gardener. I remember when big shield gardener came out, people were going crazy over that card. It was like $30. I think it came out in dark beginning one. And then it was quickly reprinted in a tournament pack. Can't remember which one. Another Doriato. I think you got a clay man in every pack. Uh, right? It feels like it. Let's see if this one has one. That'd be funny. 24 clay man. And these packs are hard to open. Got a lot of Death Wombats too. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, two, wow. <laughs> two in one pack. That's funny. Oh, it's not a clay man. Ooh, it's a. Elements of Hero Thunder Giants, so there's an ultra rare. That's uh, not that great of one, but it's not a bad one either. Cool. Right, the King of the Skull Servants. Cool, so I um, probably won't pull all that much more. Probably a, just a super, maybe two. So hopefully if I do, it's a brain control, but if not, that's okay. Ooh, another ultimate, Mega Rock Dragon. Check that out. So two ultimates in one box, that's pretty good. Um, I don't remember how ultimates were back then, how they would, um, what the ratio was, how many you'd get per box, but I know it was usually about one per box, not two. So I actually got lucky. Of course, they're nothing uh, valuable, but they're still cool. And there's an ultimate insect level seven, so it is a super rare. So I got the super rare. And the ultimate rare, ultimate insect level 7. That's my luck. That happens to me a lot. I'm going to speed it up now. So, uh, I keep saying this, but I really don't think there's much left in here. Token Feastable again. And the King of the Skull Servants. There's only like four or five packs left. Sphinx. It's been a weird box. Now there's no more Unless a Hero Clay Man. It's like a pull them all. Oh, there's one. Card of Sanctity Super Rare. Cool. I would like to get another Ultra. Probably won't happen. I think because both my Ultimates are uh, Super Rares. Normally, hey, another clay man. Look at that. <laughs> Who would have thought? There's like 20 of them in here. Nitro unit. Okay, we've got three more packs. Probably three rares, but I got some good stuff. It was a decent box. DD Survivor. That was one I really wanted to be an ultimate, but that's all right because the ultimate DD Survivor is worth like. At least 10 bucks. It's a pretty uh, valuable card. Not really used that much these days, but it was a lot when this set came out because everyone was running three bottomless trap holes. So that thing, I mean, that destroyed bottomless trap hole. Grave Oja. And one more pack. Come on, something good. Hey, a Death Wombat. Maybe there's two. Nope. And it's a Royal Surrender. All right, so that was a pretty decent box. Got two ultimates, only one ultra, but uh, I guess the two ultimates make up for it. So we'll recap just the hollows. We got a card of Sanctity, Ultimate Insect level seven. I think I already have two of these. Now I have three. 
Uh, Mega Rock Dragon. Pretty sure that's a super rare. So that one is ultimate. We got Elemental Hero Thunder Giant, which is ultra. Uh, Winged Karibo, which is the best super out of the ones I pulled. And Ultimate Insect Level 7, Ultimate Rare. And a Master Monk Super. So that was a pretty good box. Um, thanks for watching. And um, I will have an updated trade and collection binder very soon. It'll be a really big update. So you guys will definitely want to check it out. And thank you for watching.